on this video, we are talking securing items while traveling so you don't have any disasters. I have done several videos where I talk about different ways to secure items while traveling. Now, I have made videos here and there of ones that are dedicated to each one of these things. And I will link those videos up here. One thing that you face while traveling in an RV is because you're driving down the road and it is like an earthquake going off. You wanna make sure that everything is secure. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad catastrophe. Please. Turn right. Choose. Dad, turn. There's tons of things that you can do to minimize the fact of things shifting while you're traveling. So that's one less thing that you have to worry about. My first item is rubber drawer liner material. And there's several different types of this. Now this is the stuff that you get at the Dollar Tree and it works pretty good, but the best one is the more rubberized like this that you can get. Um, I have a lot of it in the blue and then this is some in the white. And I think you can sometimes find this at the Dollar Tree, but I will link some that's on Amazon that I have gotten. It is a longer roll and sorta you can get more for your money so the way that you can use this is one, you can just put it in your drawers and keep things from sliding around as you travel. My favorite way of using this is taking an item and putting it on the bottom. I just hot glue it to the bottom. I've done that on this and I've done it on my baskets and things that are up in the closet in the bedroom. This keeps them from shifting. Like I could leave this on the counter during travel day and it won't slide off because it has this rubberized on the bottom. So this here is a great way to secure things and keep them from sliding around easily while you're traveling. I like putting this in like the bottoms of my drawers. I like putting them on the shelves. It really helps secure your items. The next item is tension rods. I have tension rods all over the camper. I push them down when we're not traveling, but on travel days, I just take them, push them up and hold the items. I know that some of the door latches are really hard, but I've had, before I started using tension rods, a door pop open and everything come flying out while we're traveling and I get wherever I'm going and there's stuff everywhere. You place tension rods in the right place, you will keep this for sure from happening. They're inexpensive way to secure things and keep them from popping out of the cabinets or just keeping them from shifting in the cabinets. I keep pool noodles cut up like this and I'll wedge them, like especially in the refrigerator, if I have some items that are not quite fitting in a spot and they can flip over and move around, I'll take the pool noodle and wedge them in there. I even do this in the cabinets. I can take this pool noodle and wedge a basket or a cup or something to keep it from moving around. And pool noodles are great. Now also another thing that I have done in the past is I've taken a pool noodle, slid it, and put it over the tension rod to keep, like if you had anything that was glass or something that you were afraid that was gonna break, you can put this over the tension rod. You just cut it, snap it over the tension rod, and it will keep it from banging up against the tension rod and it softens that. I use a lot of pool noodles and I get them at the Dollar Tree because they're only $1.25. Just the regular museum putty, it's white. It's not the clear. It really, for me, works the best. And nano tape, it's in that same family. It helps secure items. All my lamps and everything are secured with museum putty. 
So on travel day, I don't have to worry with them. They're stuck there and they have been there for several years. I even have some of my little trinket things that are in my bedroom. They're secured. They're up on my shelves up above my bed. I don't ever have to move any of those or do anything. They're all secured with museum putty. Put everything in the cabinets in some kind of a tote or a basket. I get the locker bins from the Dollar Tree. I have them in all of my cabinets and I put quite a few of them and then that way I can just keep all different kinds of items but I have that space to put things to keep things from shifting while we're traveling. I absolutely love the Dollar Tree locker bins. I also have some clear bins that I have runners on them where you can turn them into a drawer so that way you can keep things inside your cabinets without having to worry about them shifting. Another way that I like to secure things while I'm traveling is with blankets and towels. So a lot of times I will put things in my sink and I will wrap them in a towel for travel so that way it protects them. In my boxes, I have my blankets in there with all my pictures that I have sitting out and that keeps them from bouncing around and breaking when we travel. Till next time, like and subscribe.